In this episode, we're diving deep into Apple Reminders, the built-in app you already have, but maybe aren't fully leveraging yet. Now, whether you're using iPhone, iPad, Mac, or all three, I'll walk you through the top features of Reminders and show you real workflows for busy people like you and like me. It's changed my life, people. My name is Dan, and I love making everyday technology easy. I worked at Apple for 19 years, and now I'm in full-time ministry. Today, I want to kind of crack open this application called Reminders. If you remember, if you've been following the channel for a little bit, I have a video that I posted about this phenomenal ecosystem, this trifecta of applications that come free out of the box in all of your Apple devices, which is Notes, Calendars, and reminders. Uh, so if you haven't watched that video, I'll post it up above. But I want you to really take a hard look at this powerful ecosystem. Yes, it will sync between all of your Apple products, your phone, your pad, your iPad, your Mac, your watch. Um, but it's really for me the ease of use and the data entry that makes this a winner. I am busy and I have notes everywhere. And I bet you you're like, if you're on YouTube right now looking at how to be more productive, it's because you're looking for something that's easier. So today what I wanna do is I wanna show you how easy it is to input even from your lock screen, from your messages, from your calendar, email, even from using your voice with your digital assistant through uh, Siri. Um, it, it's so powerful, but we have to dive in and, and, and show you how. So let's let's get right into it. Now, the first thing I wanna talk to you about is let's talk about strategy. So I, I've I switched views here and I've opened up my reminders application. For this example, I am working on my Mac, um, but this works exactly the same on iPad and on phone. Obviously, the formatting will be different, but it's the exact same. The number one tip that I have for you is that you have to start by, that's worked for me, is by creating an inbox. And as you can see up here, right up here, I have something called inbox. Now I'm gonna go ahead and create another inbox, which is basically just a list. So I'm gonna click on the plus symbol all the way in the very bottom left-hand corner. Again, on the Mac version, if you're running on iPhone or on iPad, it'll probably be on the top right hand. But I'm gonna click add, on, add list, and I'm gonna call this inbox. Now, for my purposes here, I'm gonna call this inbox two, just to kind of show you the difference. I'm gonna go ahead and give it a color identifier. Um, you can pick and choose. You can even change the emoji. Uh, you could, there, I, there is a, an inbox, if you will, that you can select, you can, but you can pick anything you want. And list type, I'm gonna leave it as a standard. You will notice that you can make this a grocery list or a smart list. For right now, we're gonna keep it a standard list and I'm gonna hit okay. And it's gonna go ahead and create this inbox to down here in the bottom. Couple quick things, you could definitely move this in any order that you want, but what I like to do is I like to right click or tap and hold if you're on, on your phone or on the iPad and I'm going to pin the list. Now you notice that it's up here and again, I can move this to the very top if I want to. Okay, now I'm gonna go ahead and delete this one because as you can see right next door to it, I already have a, a inbox uh, a list called inbox. Now what is the inbox? The inbox is your catch off for everything. What I've noticed, what's made me more productive and using the reminders application even more is I wanted something that was easy, kind of dummy proof. I, I want to start off by just dumping, dropping all of my ideas, all of my appointments, all the things that I'm going around running 100 miles an hour, I wanna jot it down. If you think about it, if something comes to mind, you're gonna grab a piece of paper and you're gonna jot it down. Then you gotta do something with that piece of paper. You're either gonna create a calendar, invite, an email. You're going to execute something from that piece of paper. Well, the inbox becomes that piece of paper. You can quickly go in here and just start adding items like call, um, I'm gonna make some stuff up here, call, um, Robert back, reference, uh, paperwork ready, right? Just very, very quickly, I'm gonna go in here and I'm going to drop any of my to-do list or my uh, reminders, my task, my projects, no particular order. This is gonna be a messy box. Start with the inbox. This will help you collect all the data and then when you have time, when you're at your desk, when you made it to your destination, if you're stuck at traffic, if you're waiting for the kids for practice, whatever the case, 
you can go to Inbox and now you can start organizing and cleaning it. Now what I love about Inbox is that by you creating this catch-all, it allows you to import from basically anywhere. And that's what I wanna show you next. So here's why Inbox for me is so powerful. And as you can tell, I switched over to my phone here. Now my phone is locked and I do have a couple of um, quick action items that are there on the screen. And in my particular case, I have my calendar and I have my shortcuts. But if you just unlock your phone and you swipe down from your control center, you'll notice at the bottom right hand corner, I have my reminders. That is a pro tip there. I have reminders as a shortcut on my control center and I keep it at the bottom right hand corner. For me that works, I'm rocking the iPhone 17 Pro Max, pretty large phone, and it just it's the perfect angle for my thumb to hit it. Now when I tap on that, what you'll notice is that it'll automatically open and it's going to open a reminders and I've set my inbox to be my default list within my reminders. And I'll show you how to do that in just a little bit. But here, I can quickly now add um, buy milk on the way home. And again, I'm keeping these reminders really, really simple. If you notice, I can add a note, I can add something even further within that. I can add a location base, so I can tap on location, and I can say current location when I'm arriving uh, home, when I'm getting in the car. So when I get in the car, I want this reminder to remind me to buy milk on the way home. And we'll get deeper into that. But what I wanted to show you was how quickly I'm able to add a reminder using my inbox. Same thing, I can use my digital assistant. Uh, you know her name. Uh, let's just call her Fiji. I don't want to activate your devices. And no, it's not sponsored by Fiji Water. But Fiji Water, if you're watching, I love your water just can't afford it. Um, anyhow, you can input any type of reminder very easily using your digital assistant, Fiji, or you can use your lock screen or your control center very, very quickly. But now let's dive right back into our inbox. So we're back here on the Mac and let's start organizing some of this stuff. So there we're still in the inbox. And now I have created under my list, I've created dedicated buckets. I dedicated one for family, one for work, one for projects, one for shipping arrivals. You get to pick and choose whatever really fits your needs. And you can even micro dissect this to your liking. So family is very, very broad. You can have family, you can have school work for your kids. If you have kids, you can uh, do family project. The, again, I, you know, I, I digress, but you can go as deep as you want. But from here, I know that Christmas decorations, number one, I can um, add more information. As you can see, Apple intelligence there is kind of already suggesting a, a date. I can add, you know, hang long lights, etc. I can add a date. I can add all that. But once I have this, I can just drag this item by just clicking, uh, clicking and dragging and I can drop it over into my family. And this is what I mean with the inbox is so powerful that I just loaded it up as much as I could and now I've got into my workplace, I've gotten home to my desk, I've gotten to the my car where I got a few minutes and I can now start cleaning this stuff up. I'm gonna go ahead and put repair outdoor fan. Obviously that's that's a, a home feature there. So I'm gonna drop into family. I do have a an office project so I'm redoing my office here soon. Uh, so I'm gonna drop that into projects, so on and so forth. I can go and I can clean up my my inbox whenever I I can. All right, now, now that we've organized our inbox, let's dive into these projects or these folders that I've created, the family, the work, the project, so on and so forth. So I'm gonna click on family and you're gonna see that I have all of my dedicated items here. The first thing that I wanna show you is the view. And I know that because we're, we're recording this for YouTube, I'm kind of in a smaller window, but I'm gonna click here on my reminders. On the Mac, I'm gonna click on the top where it says view, and I can view by list or I can view by columns. So this is the traditional list view. I like working by columns. It's just something that I kind of got used to so I can create different columns or here's where I can kind of manage it in a different way where I can kind of see them in different buckets within my family. But right now everything is kind of just jumbled together. Um, and I can move the priority of these uh, tonight. I, I can 
reorganize, I should say, the priority prioritize these differently. So I can grab the pick up my son from baseball practice. I can just grab that and I can drag it all the way to the top if I want to. I can go here, I can add a new column if I wanna now start separating these into different, um, different categories. If I'm doing this on my iPhone and your phone supports Apple intelligence, uh, so you're on an iPhone 15 or newer, it'll auto categorize as best as it can and make subcategories of these and I'll show you this on the phone when we get there. But again, I can go in here, I can make additional information, I can put alerts, I can put deadlines, I can further organize it. Same thing with work here. I have these set up a little bit different where now I do have additional buckets, right, where I have my what I call my administrative, my financial task, personal, team collaborations, travel, so on and so forth. And I can go in there and I can start now really micromanaging these on how I want to, to categorize them. I have projects. So here I have my office remodel. And again, the powerful thing about reminders is that it allows you to add as much information or as little information as you see fit. So for my office remodel, I went ahead and added the paint color that I want to paint this back wall. As you can see, it's a dark color, but I want to kind of lighten it up a little bit. So I went and I found this really cool color by Sherman Williams. I've inserted the color code. I've even added a photo for future reference. So here I have a, a photo where I can access. I can add the different things, the woods, that walls, the lighting. Again, I can reorganize this however I want. If I want to prioritize what I want to purchase first, so on and so forth. Video ideas, product reviews, get organized as best as possible. Now, let me show you the next tip. So we've spoken about the ecosystem, the fact that the Reminders app syncs across all of your devices, iPhone, iPad, Mac, Apple Watch, um, how easy it is to input. You can input from the lock screen, you can import uh, using your digital assistant, using your voice, you can input obviously uh, just by typing in. Um, you can also import by selecting messages. Now I do wanna, I wanna quickly go over here and I wanna show you an email that I have. So I went ahead and emailed this to myself. It's like I have an interview with the Apple CEO, if you're watching. Says, hey Dan, don't forget, we'll be meeting with Apple CEO this upcoming Monday, November 3rd, 2025 at 11 a.m. I can very easily just tap and hold the actual date. Now, when I tap the actual date, several things happen, again, because of Apple's, in my opinion, phenomenal ecosystem. I can add this to the calendar um, as an event and quickly create an event. I can also add this to reminder. So I'm gonna go ahead and add this to reminder since that's what we're talking about. Um, I can put meeting. It already imported the date, it imported the time, it imported the Zoom call information. Obviously this is fictitious just for demo purposes. It's gonna go ahead and drop it in my inbox, but since I'm doing this on my phone, I can go ahead and select what inbox I want this. Well, I want this for, for work, right? This is a work meeting. I can select a selection if I have something else there. Uh, administrative, if you remember, I had all those different tabs within my work reminder list. Uh, so I'm gonna put here team collaboration um, and communication. Actually, I'm gonna make this uh, work event and meetings. I can add tags, I can flag this, I can make this a high priority. Um, and I can even have it remind me when I'm messaging somebody if it was related. Again, it'll use Apple intelligence all on device. This is not using the internet kind of going through your data, it's just literally looking at the information on device and staying nice and secure. But for this demo, I'm gonna leave it off and I'm gonna tap on the check mark. And just like that, I've created a reminder. I'm gonna swipe up, I'm gonna open my reminders. I'll go here to where it says work. And then there, my meeting with Tim is on there. It's also flagged and it's also made a high priority with those three exclamation points. So reminders will will definitely bring that to the forefront as we get closer. Obviously it has time, it has a date, so on and so forth. So we can import um, information to our reminders from our lock screen using our digital assistant or really just kind of captivating the data that's already on our phone. And that's what makes the, this ecosystem so powerful. I wanna show you one more. I'm gonna switch cameras here one more time and I'm gonna go over to my calendar. 
And as you can see on my calendar already, um, I've basically hidden all of my other appointments and I've dropped in there to show my reminders. And if you can see, it's showing me my reminders. It has turn on the dishwasher. That was October 9th. Today, it has my baseball practice pickup. It has my meeting with Tim there for November 3rd. I'll go ahead and select week or let's do day so you can kind of see it on screen. There is my meeting with Tim. So phenomenal. I didn't have to, you know, go to my my Mac calendar and import that. It was automatically synced even though I was working on my my device. So that is the power behind reminders and why it's made my life so much more productive with really very little hardship of getting the information in. So let's just kind of recap. Reminders, super productive because you can import your data from almost anywhere using your digital assistant and your voice, using your lock screen, reading an email, maybe a calendar invite. You can quickly tag and, and just throw that, just kind of toss it into reminders. I showed you that over reminders, the one of the power tips is to create an inbox so it's kind of a catch off for all of your data that's how you and i get super organized just by having a dedicated location to just drop all of our information there and then organizing it later i've shown you the powerful tools of how by creating different dedicated lists for work for home for dedicated projects how you can organize and sort, add the information that you want, add the alerts, the date, the time, um, how you can quickly organize. This is a powerful, powerful tool. I I'm telling you, I have tried so many other reminding uh, or reminder applications, um, and some of them are phenomenal to do. It's There are great tools out there, but this is absolutely free with the purchase of your I mean, you already have an iPhone, chances are. You already have an iPad, chances are. You probably already have a Mac, chances are. You already have this um, application. It syncs with notes. It syncs with your calendar. It syncs with your, your mail, everything. If you have an Apple Watch, and I quickly go to my reminders app here, all the reminders that we've been talking about are already on my, my watch. They're already there. I mean so easy yet when I talk to family members I talk to friends I ask them hey are you using reminders and they're like eh, not really you know I always forget about that. and I ask them well what are you using well I'm just I'm writing stuff down or I'm using calendar I'm using notes I'm kind of like just jotting things down powerful powerful tools hey quickly I, I want to know how do you use reminders and and what kind of pro features do you use reminders has location based um, automations we haven't even scratched the surface with automations or shortcuts from the Apple side where you can create shortcuts to automatically trigger a reminder uh, meaning when you arrive at work it will generate a new reminder maybe to, to check your your mailbox or, or shipping container or whatever the case may be there are so many additional ways to use reminders I want to know how you use reminders how it's changed your life do me a favor and drop a uh, comment down below. Also, I want to take a quick moment and let you know that we have opened up the channel to memberships. And really, these are just supporters of the channels. You can be just from a, an encourager to a supporter to a full-fledged member. And we have several people that have joined already. And I want to thank you from the bottom of my heart. This allows me to connect even closer with you. I'm doing... Um, uh, additional content I'll get to answer direct questions that that you may have that obviously take a little bit of time away from me uh, kind of making sure that I have the research and the data ready for you but definitely join if you have not let me know what you thought of today's video drop me a thumbs up if you liked it drop me down a comment man share this video it will be an honor for me to extend this community out and I hope that you found value in today listen before we go I think you'll definitely check out this video for you it'll help you be even more productive until next time my friends catch you in the next one peace